In this quick OpenLP tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a new theme to OpenLP. So let's go ahead and open it up and we'll see what happens. Okay, familiar setting here. Okay, now until now we have looked at this panel, songs, Bibles, presentations, images, media, custom slides. All right, but one thing we've not looked at, and you may have been curious about, is the theme manager. The theme manager. So what's this about? Well, this is what the songs show up in front of. You got blue burst, you got clouds, you got moss on tree. What they've titled here, sea with trees, which looks like a lake to me. Uh, sunrise and then wheat. So, is that all you have to choose from? So far it is, but that is not the limits, believe me. So, what do we do here? Well, you can do a couple of things. If you wanted, let's say, blue burst, but you wanted to change the text size, you could right click this. And you could either edit the theme or you could copy it. Let's just make a copy of it so we'll leave the original intact. Blue burst, larger text. Okay? There it is. Now we've not made any changes to it yet, so it's not going to have larger text just because we named it that. We got to make it happen. So let's right click it and let's edit this theme. Remember, I right clicked it, edit. Okay? Background type, image, not gonna mess with that. Background color, not gonna mess with that. Image, we wanna keep that same image. Okay? The font is Deja Vu Sans. We wanted to make this larger, so let's go ahead and do that. As the size of the font increases, the number of lines per slide decreases. Why? Because each line's taking up more space. Make it 52. Shadow, I'll leave it there. You can also change the color of the font here. Let's give it a kind of a light yellow color, okay, kind of a rich cream color. Next, footer area details, we don't need to change that. Maybe we'll make it a little bit larger. Horizontal align center, yes. Vertical align middle, yes. Transitions, not sure, must be new. Okay, and that's how it will look. So you have a new theme that you have modified. Congratulations. Now let's say that we just want to build one from scratch. We got our own. We don't want to mess with anything else. Well, once again, you could do that one of two ways. Either you can copy a theme and then modify it, which we've just showed you how to copy a theme and then edit the one that you've copied. Or you can click right here, create a new theme. All right, so they're gonna help us out. There's a theme wizard. So background type, solid color. Well, why don't we do gradient? Okay, and then all right, vertical, do a vertical gradient. Font, Adobe Castellan Pro, a very classic font. Not quite black. Let's make the font larger. Let's give it a lighter colored shadow.
don't worry about the footer details that'll show at the bottom left of the screen it'll say like your CCLI license number or your um, the name of the song the publisher horizontal align center vertical align middle okay and let's see how this is going to display well we got to give it a name don't we what do you want to name it okay purplish gradient now I already see a problem with this possibly what is it that text doesn't sit very well on those colors that'll be a little bit difficult to read so let's go ahead and just finish it and then we'll go in and edit the theme let's go ahead and just make that color darker in this color darker as well okay then we'll make the font color lighter see what that fares us already looking better okay so let's go to the song panel here and drag a song on over and let's make the default theme for this entire service the purplish gradient let's double click it there it is your first theme you'll look here in the bottom left all hail the power of Jesus name written by Edward Perrinet okay and you cycle through that beautiful beautiful song all right so that is your first theme congratulations it's there forever and ever Now I'll move on to kind of a subsection here just to talk about how themes interact with the surface. Okay, obviously I changed it here. But what if I add another song? Will it also use that same gradient? What do you think? It will. It certainly will. But let's say that I just want this song to be a different theme what would I do click on clouds and it'll be clouds that will always be clouds regardless of whether it's I've changed it up here this one it'll always be the default why because it's set on default whatever the default theme happens to be in this case it's purplish gradient but if i didn't have one here what do you think it would be it would be this one because this is the what's called global default okay why global default my goodness what a what a concept all right this is what it means it means that if there's no theme specified here which we would call the service default if there's no service default it goes to this one blue burst okay so there's no service default anymore there it is blue burst and you change the service default let's say that we just generally want it to be purplish gradient right click it it's as easy as this set as global default now what's gonna happen if I double click this again will it show me what's here in the live panel 
let's just preview it. There it is. There's our global default. All right. How you feeling? Good? All right. We've covered a lot in this video, but all of this is very good material. So let's just do a quick recap. Firstly, we showed you that you can take an existing theme and modify it either directly by editing or by copying it and then making changes. In this case, we took Blue Burst, which is a very good theme, and we copied it and then we modified it so it would have a larger text, a very practical change that happens when you edit a theme. Okay? Then we showed you how to just make one from scratch by yourself. We added a nice gradient there. We made sure the text was legible, that it was a good size. Really, it could be larger, but you just kind of play with it till you get it right. Okay. And then we talked about what a global default is, which is kind of an intimidating sounding term, but all it means is that's going to be the default if there's not one listed here. Okay. And then we talked about how an individual song can have a theme that never changes regardless of whether there's a um, default service theme. Okay. That's it for this lesson. I know there's a lot of content, so just go back and play with it until you feel comfortable.